So you know the easiest way to grow your business, actually the only way you can grow your business is through three things. One, increasing the number of customers that are coming through the door, increasing the amount that they spend with you and your business, and increasing the frequency at which they're purchasing. So that's the only way that you can grow your company. Increasing the amount of people, increasing the dollars that they spend, and increasing the frequency at which they purchase. So I actually, trying to figure out how can I do all of this with one thing? There's so many ways that you can increase the number of customers that are coming in. There's so many ways that you can increase the, the money and the value that they're spending per purchase. And then there's a whole bunch of ways to win those customers back and get them to, to purchase again and again. And it was actually tiring trying to play whack-a-mole with all of these different uh, areas until I found skew widening. So skew widening hits all three of these buckets simultaneously. And what skew widening is, is a product development formula or framework that you should look at through this lens when you're going to develop, uh, do some R&D and launch products to your current customer base. So what skew widening is, is the following. You have tier one products, tier two products, and tier three products. Tier one products are flagship products. These are your money makers. These are products that someone could pick up off the shelf, find online, and just really extract as much value as possible from your business and from your company. And these are like, the, these are uh, the stars of the show, if you will. Tier two products are complementary products. These help support, I'm gonna build some bricks here. Uh, these help support tier one products. So tier two products complement uh, tier one products. So maybe uh, you have a day planner. That day planner then has a, uh, a leather cover. That would be a tier two product to increase the value that the customer gets and it complements one another. Tier three products are things that don't do either. These are just nice to haves. These are extension products. These are things like t-shirts, swag, stickers, things that don't really provide a ton of value, but help increase the, the number of customers that are coming back, increase the purchase frequency, and increase the average order value. So this is, this is great. So when you drive someone to your site, you bring them in through a tier one. Through tier one, this is the value prop. This is the reason that they came to your site. You offer them tier two. This increases the average order value on your site. Hey, if you buy this and this, they work so much well, so much better together, you're gonna get this much more value. So this increases your average order value. Then what you're going to do is offer, you know, extension products, uh, other add-ons, things to get your customers, the brand uh, advocates of yours, to get them to come back again and again. What's also interesting with this, skew widening determines where you're spending your time, attention, resources, money on products, development, R&D. What we did, originally, early on, we tried creating the most premium t-shirt in the world for our company. And we spent months trying to figure out the fabric, the tags, the materials, the, the screen printing, how that would look, the color combos, literally months. Because we have, a, a, we have such dedication to our products and we believe in quality, we thought that that was where we should be spending our time, attention, and resources. Then when we launched this t-shirt, Turned out only a couple people really bought it uh, that were brand advocates. And brand advocates will buy anything that you put out. So you might want to launch stickers and t-shirts, but don't invest as much time and attention and resources into it. Now where a majority of our efforts are, are on these tier one products. This is where the team gets together and collabs over, okay, what material are we gonna use? Get samples from this manufacturer, this manufacturer, this manufacturer. We're gonna put a lot of R&D time and energy into this because this is where the real juice is. 
We'll put a little bit less in here because it all, they complement, but it doesn't require that much attention. And then we'll put even fewer in tier three and maybe we'll just partner with someone and do uh, print on demand or something like that. But it's something that's important that shouldn't be left undone. So when you're going to increase the number of customers that are coming in, increasing the, the amount that they're going to spend with you and then increasing the frequency of purchases, look at SKU widening to hit all three of these buckets simultaneously. If you like this video, please like, comment, share it with someone you think would benefit from it. My name's Alan, and if you like con uh, content like this, please like my page, follow me on social, wherever you're watching this, and um, uh, head to my website, alanbrower.com.